entire map collapsed to chamber of the Yellowstone supervolcano, a leading scientist told a documentary. The Yellowstone supervolcano has been a source of apocalyptic fascination for years and it's easy to see why. Yellowstone is one of just a handful of supervolcanoes across the world, each at least seven times larger than Mount Tambora, which had the biggest volcanic eruption in recorded history. Yellowstone is believed to be the largest of them all. It has erupted three times previously 2.1 million years ago, 1.3 million years ago and 640,000 years ago. The last eruption was believed to have been 1,000 times bigger than the devastating Mount St. Helens eruption of 1980. Yellowstone's last eruption created a depression, known as a caldera, which is 55 kilometers by 80 kilometers wide. The next eruption is predicted to cause mass devastation. A 2014 paper in Geochemistry, Geophysics, Geocytoms found the volcano is capable of burying a number of states including Idaho and Colorado in three feet of volcanic ash. With eruptions occurring at intervals of roughly 660,000 years, some have argued Yellowstone is due an eruption. The 2015 Smithsonian Channel documentary, Yellowstone Supervolcano, explored the impacts of the last eruption, and the risks posed by any future eruptions. Right beneath the caldera of the last eruption sits the magma chamber, fed by a plume of magma stretching some 465 miles. Though it is mostly solid rock, it has the potential to liquefy, the documentary said magma is rising through the plume into the magma chamber at a rate of 2 inches per year. A scientist told the documentary, this restless Yellowstone caldera is truly living, breathing. And every once in a while, it burps. Concern starts to arise when that plume begins to liquefy and moves upwards at a faster rate. Geologist Jake Lowenstern told the documentary, Natural systems can throw us a love of curveballs. A lot of things can happen that we're not really ready for. Mr. Lowenstern searched for a pattern in the three prior eruptions. He continued, In two of the really large eruptions at Yellowstone, so much material comes out, entire mountain ranges end up falling into the ground and essentially disappearing. The documentary's narrator, John Beach, added that a 50-mile stretch of mountains simply disappeared by collapsing into the magma chamber. <laughs>